a Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release for December 9, 2013. The Smoking Gun, Fish Brains and Nicotine. In researching neural pathways, it helps to establish an analogous relationship between a region of the human brain and the brains of more easily studied animal species. New work from a team led by Carnegie's Marty Halpern hones in on one particular region of the zebrafish brain that could help us understand the circuitry underlying nicotine addiction. It's published the week of December 9th by Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The mammalian habenular nuclei, in a little understood and difficult to access part of the brain, are involved in regulating both dopamine and serotonin, two neurotransmitters involved in motor control, mood, learning, and addiction. But unlike the mammalian habenuli, the habenular nuclei of fish are located dorsally, making them easy for scientists to access and study. However, some outstanding questions remained about the properties of the zebrafish habenuli, creating a roadblock for truly linking these structures as analogous in fish and humans. In particular, it was unresolved whether zebrafish habenular neurons produce the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is enriched in this region of the mammalian brain and activates the same receptors to which nicotine is known to bind. The new work by lead author Elam Hong and colleagues confirms that not only does the link between the habenula to the midbrain interpenduncular nucleus utilize acetylcholine in zebrafish, as in humans, but the pathway shows a remarkable left-right difference in the fish brain. The purpose of this asymmetry is unknown, but is demonstrated by electrophysiological recordings with collaborator Jean-Marie Mangin of the University of Pierre and Marie Curie. It results in differences in neural activity between the brain hemispheres. Other research in Halpern's lab indicates that such left-right differences could influence behavior. Hong performed these experiments through a European Molecular Biology Organization short-term fellowship while hosted in the laboratory of Claire Wyatt in Paris, France. The team further showed that this acetylcholine pathway in zebrafish responds in a similar way to nicotine as does the analogous pathway in the mammalian brain. This makes the zebrafish a good model for studying the brain chemistry of nicotine addiction. Hong said, our work demonstrates broader uses for zebrafish in studying the function of the habenula and addresses a major weakness in the field, which was the poor characterization of neurotransmitter identity in this area. Going forward, these results will help us study how brain circuitry influences nicotine addiction. In addition to Halpern and Hong, Courtney Akitaki, Karan Kumar Santhakumar, and Sung Jung An, formerly of Carnegie, are also co-authors on the study. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.